welcome back to another vlog today's sunday well, i just got my hair done like yesterday and i'm currently getting ready to possibly go get my nails done because they're super grown out and my birthday is this coming friday so i just want some new nails but yesterday i got my hair retightened um and then i also decided to go ahead and braid it up which is something that I don't really normally do like right after I get it done because I be having a headache and not because it's done too tight but just because I'm tender headed but I'm about to go to the beauty supply store because I have been looking all over the place for that viral hair growth oil from Neal Organics. Couldn't find it anywhere. I've been to like five different Targets. I've been to Walmart and I can't find it. But I saw on TikTok that this girl was saying to check the local beauty supply stores because if y'all don't know like what's been going on with that product, of course, we have been using it for years, black women and men, but it went viral on TikTok and so a lot of white people have been trying to get their hands on this growth oil so now um, it's really hard to find unfortunately so I'm going to check out the beauty supply store It looks great and my roots are all fresh
So, it has been at least three weeks from the time that I started this vlog and now. I don't know how I'm going to mesh all this footage together to make it make sense. So today, I'm going to go to Target to see if I can find some hair oil and some cream for my hair so that I can like moisturize my hair a little bit more properly. And then I also want to go look for this book at Barnes & Noble if they're not too busy. So yeah. something is wrong with me y'all it is the whole next day I just got off of work and I want to go ahead and show y'all the stuff that I got yesterday from whenever I went out shopping I don't know what's wrong with me I just didn't even pick up the camera again I don't know why I'm doing that I haven't really been a good vlogger lately as y'all can tell I haven't really been posting vlogs but anyways first place that I went to was Target from Target I only got three things the first thing that I was able to find was this Myel. I hope I'm saying it right. Myel, right? Myel Organics. It's not even Myel Organics. Just Myel. Why was I thinking it was Myel Organics this whole time? I don't know. That's embarrassing. I think I said Myel Organics at the beginning. I could have sworn that was the name of the company though. But anyway, y'all know this oil that has gone popular. Gone popular. Gone viral is what I meant to say on TikTok for being just a super hair growth oil um, that's been sold out everywhere that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. While I was there, because I got this to add to my collection because I want to start just taking better care of my hair as far as the way that I'm moisturizing it because I don't really have a set moisturizing routine. I'm trying to come up with one so I'm glad that I was able to find this. I actually used it last night and the scent of it is okay. It doesn't stink. It's just really strong because it has that rosemary in it, that rosemary oil. It's just super strong, you know. But my loctician was telling me that I need to start or that I can use a cream in my hair and that I can moisturize using the LCO or the LOC method. I'm going to try that out and post a routine trying to do that method and we'll just see how it goes. So I'm not going to get too much into it in this video because this is a vlog. But I ended up picking up this TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Y'all, I'm not too sure how this works. I've never used this before. It was so awkward yesterday in Target looking for different hair products because I feel like I'm just so far removed from looking for hair products because I have locks. And so I haven't been able to use like creams and stuff in the beginning of my journey because you don't want to cause buildup and all this other stuff. I don't know. So this is my first time shopping for hair products in a really, really long time. And I was just overwhelmed by everything. You got the TGIN. You got the Mayo brand, Mio brand. 
you have the Carol's Daughters, you got the Tracy Ellis Ross got a hair care line now, you got all this stuff, Shea Moisture. I didn't know what to get, so I just got this. So if any of y'all have locks and you are like kind of further along in your lock journey, please let me know what you use to moisturize your hair because I'm in need of help. The last thing that I got from Target is this Milani Baked Powder Blush. I want to try this one out because I'm not sure why I smelled it. It doesn't smell like anything, but I want to try it out because it's pink, like a coral pink. But it has like these little gold specks in it. So I think it's just supposed to be like a blush and a um, highlight at the same time. And I have like two other blushes by this brand and I really like it. Next place that I went to was the thrift store. So I'm going to show y'all some stuff that I got from there. First thing, super cute, still has the whole tag on it, y'all. This thing has probably never been worn, but it is this really cute mustard yellow off the shoulder romper that is going to be so cute in the spring and the summertime. I can't wait to wear this. I think they probably got this from either Dillard's or Macy's because I've seen this brand at Dillard's or Macy's. But anyways, got that and then I got two other dresses. I got this dress, which is just the off-the-shoulder long floral dress. And then I got a dress for work. I typically wouldn't wear this, like just myself, but I thought that it would be really cute for work. It's a Michael Kors dress. And as you can see, it has like a zipper down the front. And then also there's a belt that wraps around the waist. I'll be able to show y'all in one of my work week vlogs. I'll show y'all my outfit. I'm probably gonna wear this very soon. All three of those items were $22 and this is brand new and then this one still has a tag on it. And then finally I went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up two books. Y'all, I'm so excited about these books that I picked up because I've been looking for um, one of these books. I'll just show you. I only got two and I'm hyping it up. I've been looking for this book everywhere. Ever since I saw it on Goodreads, it was recommended to me. It's called A Sweet Low Country Proposal. I'm not completely sure what this book is about. I started it today when I was at work, but I'm only on page two, so we'll see. I didn't even bother to read it or anything because I just like the cover. If the cover has a black person on there and it looks cute, you already know I'm going to pick it up because I want to add to my little library that I'm trying to build. But another thing that I got from Barnes & Noble. I've been waiting on this book, y'all, for months. I've seen this. I used to see, like, little uh, snippets or sneak peeks about this book on TikTok. I have been waiting on this book for at least four months, since November. I think it came out maybe last month in January or maybe a couple weeks ago. But look at this. Look at the cover of this book. Isn't this so pretty? This is the um, exclusive edition. So I'm guessing, okay, first of all, let me tell you what it's called. It's called The Davenports by Crystal Marquise. I'm sorry, I'm just too excited. But this book is supposed to be about, like, some black wealthy family back in, like, the early 1900s. I think this book takes place in 1910. And, again, I'm not completely sure what this is about, but look at the cover. You already know I had to get this book. And that was all that I got yesterday when I went shopping at the stores. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. This vlog has been happening for a long time. I need to wrap it up and see how I'm gonna edit this. But that's not your problem. You can just sit back and watch it and I'm gonna worry about the editing. But I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'm out.